RPG Maker MV. It's a thing that lets you make RPGs quite easily. So let's get straight into it. To create your own RPG, step one is to go create a new project. So let's go to the top left of this little blank place right here and click on this little piece of paper. So click and boom. So now we gotta create a new project. Step one, name the folder. Since you can't really change the name of the folder after it's created, you want to make sure this is something that really consistently remains a label that can actually like make sense for your project. So let's call it a uh, first RPG ever. And then next is a game title. Now, unlike the folder name, this can be changed anytime, anywhere. So what I want you to put in here is actually blah, blah, blah. And the reason for that is, we are going to learn how to change that to your own game title later. But for now, do that. I'm serious. Do it. Now finally, comes the location of the game. Now, I recommend not touching that, because if you just touch it, you're just going to move it somewhere, you're not going to know where it is, and you're going to be very confused, and then you're going to cry, and then you're going to like slowly give up. So, just leave it in the documents games folder, or I guess you could put it on the desktop since that is a very convenient location. Then, we can hit OK. And then it's gonna start loading. It's gonna take a couple years, but eventually it'll get there. So I'm just gonna skip forward through this part. So and see you there. And here it is, our new RPG Maker MV project called Fijizia. So let's get straight into doing stuff. As you can see right here, we have sort of like a faded out player on top of this large grassy plane I get. So let's make it something else. If we go into the top right here, we'll notice that we have like this little grouping of this thing and this thing. This is going to allow you to actually like draw on the map and draw like planes, draw sands, draw mountains, do whatever. So I want you to click on this. Next, let's click on what we want to edit. So let's try clicking on this sandy path thingy right here. Now finally, we're going to click on the tool we're going to use. So the tool I'm going to use is just going to be the pencil. Then finally, I'm just going to click on that and then just draw away. So here we have it. We're, we're drawing the sand path thingy. Yay! So let's go try out some of the other tools. So if we click on this tree right here, we can use a rectangle tool to create a rectangular shape for our forest. If we click on this circular or eclipse shape, then we can go and make a circular shape for our little like cloud plane thingy right there. If we click on this little paintbrush, this can be the bucket tool, which is allows us to just bucket the whatever you want. So let's make it so it's going to instead of all this clouds, it's going to be mountains on the clouds, apparently. Well, that's awesome. So if you want to play out your amazing masterpiece, all you have to do is go to the top right and click on this play button. It's going to ask you if you want to save. Of course, you're going to say yes. And then we're going to go straight into it. We brought to our beautiful title screen, not the default boring title screen you're going to hate eventually, but this, this beautiful one that has our, our amazing game title listed on top. Hit the enter button and we can start our new game. And it'll fade out and bring us to our players just standing in this weird location. We can move around using the arrow keys. If you want to dash, hold down shift. So here we go. We run around. Uh, uh, oh, wow. It's, it's, it's something. So the last thing you may need to note for creating your own map. If you right click on a tile, you'll copy that tile onto your like current like pencil or whatever. So right click on the grass, then I can draw grass, right click on the sandy place, I can draw more sand now, right click on the trees, you can fill the trees back up, and if you right click on these mountains, you can array more mountains with the white tile under it. And if you want to use more tiles, we can click on the tab B or the tab C, and we can have more tiles we can use in drawing our map. So we can take this road, we can like copy that, and we can just, oh, there we have a road thingy, yay. So now it's actually going to create a super amazing map, not, not saying this one isn't super amazing, but we're gonna make one better and here it is our beautiful new world if we look in the bottom left we can find that hey here's a little town and if we look at like the top right here's our grassy mountains we also have these normal mountains this like mansion place and this like corporate building that's just sitting there because why not and so here it is now if you want to export and let others play your amazing game thing whatever all you have to do is go to top left file deployment we're gonna be asked to save our game we're gonna hit yes then we're gonna be given choices to what platform what export to exclude unused files and our output location so let's set it so our platform is gonna be either mac os or windows depending on 
what you want to send it to or which one you're using. So I'm going to click Windows, I'm going to exclude unused files, and then finally it's going to ask for an output location. I'd say just leave it on your desktop, why not? Now let's hit, wait, before you hit OK, this thing also says Android slash iOS. This does not create an Android or iOS file, it's a lot more complex. Don't touch this, you're going to cry, it's going to be horrible, just we'll get to that later. But for now, click on Windows or Mac and hit OK. So once it's done, we'll have this folder called our first RPG ever, and we can select our game by simply going to the game.exe and running it. So we'll run it. And this will bring up our game without the need for RPG Maker to be open. So here it is. It's open. It's beautiful. It has our title in the top left corner. It's going to say, we're going to click new game, and then it's going to go straight in, and we can find our beautiful world centered right here. So let's go. We can visit the mountains. We can like, we can go to, go to the town. We can like go down here, we can go to like this the building, we can do some work, and we can go like to the mansion. We can go like to these mountains. And and it's it's that's pretty much right. You can't even go inside. It's it's pretty horrible actually. what what is this? What ugh. Alright. This is not an RPG. You wanna make an RPG? Well you better continue watching, and then we'll learn how to make a better RPG than this. Wow, that was really cheesy. Welp, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. D what in the comments below do you want to see in this video? What do you want to do? Do you want to create like a, a human? You want to make, make like a monster? You want you want to have a talking dragon that gives you a free potion? Uh, we can do that. Until next time, RPG Maker Tutorial out.